Hello and welcome to 10 real WWE backstage fights that took place. I'm Tom from Top 10 Wrestling. Let's hit 700 likes and get right onto the list. Number 10, Simon Gotch vs Sin Cara. The most recent fight on this list, this fight took place less than 24 hours ago on Smackdown Live. Not much details have came out about the fight, but it was said that it took place in the catering area and that Sin Cara won the fight. Number 9, Buff Bagwell vs Shane Hurricane Helms. In 2001, after WCW was purchased by the WWE, Shane Hurricane Helms and Buff Bagwell had a little bit of an altercation. Buff Bagwell made a remark to Helms that he would never be a superstar because he was too short, had no muscle definition, and didn't look like he could actually beat anyone up. Helms got tired of Bagwell running his mouth, so you know what he did? He beat him up. He did the thing that Bagwell said he couldn't do. Yeah, Shane Helms won the fight by quite a landslide. Number 8, Yoshitatsu vs Sheamus. You'd be surprised to hear that this fight actually took place, and you'd probably be surprised to hear that Yoshitatsu actually won the fight. At one point, Sheamus, Yoshitatsu, and Ted DiBiase Jr. were living together as roommates. One day, Tatsu and DiBiase confronted Sheamus about unwashed protein shakers. Sheamus reacted with arrogance, and he threw the protein shaker at Tatsu and told him to do something about it. So what did Yoshitatsu do? He then proceeded to kick Sheamus's ass. Number 7, Joey Styles vs JBL. JBL is notorious for being one of the biggest bullies in pro wrestling history backstage. During tribute to the troops in 2008, JBL set his sights on Joey Styles. After days and days of bullying, Joey Styles knocked out JBL. The announcer beat up the wrestler in just a couple of punches. Wow, Joey Styles, you're my hero, man. Number 6, The Great Carly vs The Big Show. 14 feet in total and nearly 900 pounds fought backstage. That is scary, man. The story goes that Big Show was pissed off that The Great Carly stole his chop spot, you know, the, ch the spot where they slap the person in the chest. The, the Big Show was pissed off that Great Carly apparently stole that. The two confronted each other backstage before it came to blows. Big Show threw the first punch, but ultimately the Great Carly would win after the Big Show took a wild swing and tripped over a chair, which caused him to fall onto the floor with Carly on top of him. Number 5, Batista vs Booker T. Batista had been rubbing people off the wrong way by talking about how SmackDown's ratings had dropped since he left, bragging about how quickly he rose to the top in the company. The two confronted each other backstage, that is Batista and Booker T, and they argued for 5 minutes before they came to blows in a 30 second brawl, which is said that Booker T won and got many praise from the locker room for shutting Batista up. Number 4, Vince McMahon and Bret Hart. Now this one wasn't really much of a fight, but obviously this came right after the Montreal Screwjob. This is gonna be bad. Following the Montreal Screwjob, which I'm not going to explain because I've explained it so many times in so many videos, and it's on so many videos on YouTube, but after the Montreal Screwjob, right, well like literally right after the match, Bret Hart went backstage and punched Vince McMahon in the face. That's all there really was to it, but it ranks very high because, you know, the Montreal screw job was a very big incident. Number 3, Vince McMahon vs Nails. In December of 1992, Nails was released from his WWE contract and nobody really knew why. Sure, he wasn't really getting much of a push and he wasn't a big player in the company, but there was really no reason for him to be released and people were curious to know why he got the axe. And as it turns out, he got the axe because he assaulted and attacked Vince McMahon in his office over a financial dispute. Nails, I get that you were pissed off, but are you dumb? Number 2, Brock Lesnar and Kurt Hennig. Now this one wasn't necessarily backstage, but it comes from the plane ride from hell, the infamous plane ride from hell, so I had to include it. 
on obviously a plane ride Kurt Hennig got a little drunk and I say a little drunk that's an understatement he got very drunk and decided to square up to Brock Lesnar challenging him to a fight Paul Heyman encouraged Brock Lesnar to prove himself and the two started brawling on a plane Triple H for some reason eventually just jumped into the mix and the three would brawl and brawl and at one point they even slammed into the plane door nearly killing everyone Kurt Hennig was ultimately fired after this and number one Chris Jericho versus Goldberg Chris Jericho and Goldberg had heat dating back all the way to their WCW days and eventually they had a fight in the locker room in 2003 the heat between them started after Goldberg showed very little interest in working with Jericho because apparently Jericho was too small and that in real life Goldberg claimed that he would crush him within two minutes stating that if they had a wrestling match Jericho wouldn't have any credibility against him what proceeded to happen was Jericho would squash Goldberg in two minutes Goldberg put his hand on Jericho's throat and screamed in his face Jericho retaliated and like I said before squashed him in two minutes thanks for watching guys if you did enjoy smack the like button uh, this was a good video I really enjoyed making this video very interesting let's shoot for 700 likes be sure to follow me on Twitter and buy a t-shirt goodbye and keep on rolling